Yo guys, Spirotech here, and I have here a 4 port USB PCIe card. Let's take a look. Roll that intro. If you don't have a USB 3 connection on your motherboard, this is a great alternative. It fits to a PCIe card expansion slot, it hosts two USB 3s in the back, and an internal connection for two more. It has transfer speeds up to 5 gigabit per second and is 10 times faster than USB 2.0. In the box, it includes a Molex connector to a SATA power connector, the card, and the disc for installation, plus the drivers and the manual. The card comes in an anti-static bag. Now taking a look at this card, it doesn't support low form factor cases, and it only takes up one slot when it's in place. The Molex and 20 pin connector are located in the back. And the two USB 3 ports are located in the front, which is in the back of your case. The Molex connection provides power to the card and the 20 pin connector is for other USB 3 connections. All cases are different. Mine has a plastic cover covering the screws so you'll have to take that off first to get access to unscrew the PCIe slot cover. After you have removed it, open your case. You can either use the Molex connection from your power supply or the converter in the box. Take the card and plug in the Molex connection. Then take your 20 pin connector and insert it as well. Then carefully place it in the PCIe slot. You should hear a click. Then screw the bracket into place. If your case has a plastic cover, screw that back on. For the installation, go to your desktop and click start. Type run in the search bar and hit enter. Then type what is on screen. Insert the disc that came with the box, then click OK. Wait a little until you see the blinking icon in the taskbar and click it. Click yes and wait as it installs. Close it, and if you open up Device Manager, you will see that the card is recognized. Now something you should not do but I did is apply too much force to the Molex connector. I bent it, but it still worked. It wouldn't fit back in, so I tried gluing it, but that didn't work. I connected everything to it, but it still would not fit beside my graphics card. I did fix it then, and it works great now. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.